Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and today ooh, we're going to have a look at this puzzle by Ransk. Actually, can I square this up in the window any better? Let's just do a bit of that, um, and then give you a bit more of my face. How about that? There we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's going to look like that when we get to it. Now, um, don't forget that on Patreon we have got this incredible nightmare Sudoku hunt by the Skunk Works. Some unbelievably good puzzles there. You have to complete 19 to get the full shout out. I think we've had one or two people in who um, have sent us the final puzzle grid, but they can't generate the uh, necessary keyword or phrase from it. Well, I'm afraid you have to keep trying because other people have done it. Lots of people have persevered through the whole hunt and already sent us the final word or phrase and very well done to them. Lots of people have got the first five puzzles done and they're pretty hard too. So very well done anyone who's sent us the first keyword or phrase. Um, but do check it out. There are some absolutely fabulous puzzles there. Um, I would say that Round Planer and Jeremy Dovers are the hardest. But, well, Maybe even that is inversely proportional to how much I enjoyed them. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I really liked some of the other puzzles in it in the pack. It's it's absolutely brilliant stuff. Do check it out. But uh, there's also other stuff on Patreon, of course. There's also all kinds of things going on on the channel, as always. Um, we've had articles in the paper this week. That's unusual. We've had uh, got blown out by TV last week. We've got. Um, well, we haven't done any streaming for a while. That'll probably be coming back after Easter. Um, what else is going on? There's obviously our apps are out, including our new Second Gas app. Do check it out. It's probably um, in a couple of weeks. We're coming up for the first refresh with 10 more puzzles on that. And do check out all the other apps as well. So loads going on, as always, around the channel. Now, Ransk has been with us, I think, that we first featured a Ransk puzzle in 2020, which is sort of three years ago now. That's how long Ranks has been with the channel. And since then, you may have come across him constructing, solving, streaming. Ransk is omnipresent and very good news for the Sudoku community. Um, and we're delighted to feature this puzzle he sent to us today called some things very wrong, or some things very wrong with your spelling of something, Ranks. But uh, I know that that's a pun on the word some. So I'm going to go through the rules of this puzzle and then give it a crack. So the rules are these normal Sudoku rules apply. So we are going to put one to nine in every row, column, and box. However, the grid is absolutely stuffed with arrows, far too many to be real. And indeed, arrows in the grid can be correct or incorrect. On correct arrows, the digits in the arrows sum to the value in the circle. Incorrect arrows do not sum to the value in the circle. It's up to the solver to determine which arrows are correct or incorrect. So it sounds like an incorrect arrow, we have no information at all. We could put any digits on the arrow or in the circle. Um, a number outside the grid, yeah, there are a few of these, uh, is the sum of the circles in the row or column that are for correct arrows. So if in this column that was correct and that was correct and that was correct, those three would add up to 17 uh, incorrect arrow circles, which would have been that one in my example, do not contribute to the sum. And that's it. That's going to be the clues we get to establish which arrows are correct. And then we get to solve the puzzle. It's a kind of variant of Rogan Sudoku, but not quite as uh, extreme as some of the puzzles Simon's beaten his head against a brick wall about lately. So anyway, I'm looking forward to giving this a go. It looks very interesting, very unusual, and um, innovation is always welcome, especially when it doesn't bring enormous complexity. And I think this qualifies on those counts. So give it a try on the first link under the video. The other links in the description field are to the various things around the channel that I was mentioning earlier, and indeed the catalog of our videos and Discord server and Sven Sudoku pad and all that good stuff, but I am going to restart the puzzle now. Let's get cracking. And 
There must be a way of determining some incorrect or correct arrows. Determining incorrect ones is pretty hard, I think. Ah, look at this central column though, the 19 clue. Right, these three circled digits, I'm not saying that we're adding them up yet, although I will be in a moment, but if you added up only two of them, the maximum value would be 17. So all three must contribute to this 19 sum, I reckon. Now, what are we going to do? I am going to mark those circles green as genuine arrows, and I'll try and hit the non-genuine ones with red or something. But I'm a bit torn. Should I colour the whole arrow green? The, the reason I'm reluctant to is there are some shared cells by arrows, and if they're shared by a genuine arrow and a fake one, I could confuse myself. So I'll leave it at just the circles. So those three circles, they add up to 19. Their arrows are all genuine. Now I was wondering if we could use a fantastic secret that I know about Sudoku grids and uh, do do only tell people you trust that every row, column, and box in a Sudoku grid always adds up to 45. It's an amazing secret and stems from the fact the rules say they always contain the digits 1 to 9, those things, and 1 to 9 always adds up to 45. But I don't actually think we can. I was going to say if those two circles add up to... Well... Let's say the maximum, which is actually not 17, but 16, because that being a genuine arrow has to be at least a 3. Those numbers on the... Uh, that circle has to be at least a 3, the numbers on its arrow being at least 2 and 1. So then these two outsidey circles could be 9 and 7 adding up to 16. And that would make these cells add up to 32, plus the 3 there is 35. That would leave me a very annoying 10 sum. Annoying because there's loads of ways for it to be made up. It's not an extreme number for two digits at all. In fact, it's almost the least extreme number for two digits. I don't, I don't think there is maths to be done on the central column. I mean, I thought there was going to be, and I think I was fooling myself. I've changed my mind. I am going to highlight the whole of these arrows and just try and keep tabs on the fact that that doesn't mean this arrow is correct or this arrow. Now, if this arrow was correct, Would it be an it couldn't be a nine because this yeah that would mean this arrow was correct does that mean I can rule that this arrow is now correct I think I can this digit isn't a nine I know, but this could be wrong. Okay, I'm trying to think of a, a situ... Si oh. Okay, I'm sorry. I was trying to think of a situation in which that arrow could be not genuine. And it would require this, in this row, to be a 9. But for that to be a genuine arrow, it would break here. So, I was being very clever there in some ways, but the obvious thing to do is to look down this column I've just spotted, where there are only two circles and they've both got to be genuine. So, let's colour those arrows. I may end up uncolouring the arrows, but anyway. Those add up to 15. They are selected from 6, 7, 8 or 9. That cell is also 6, 7, 8 or 9, thanks to the one cell arrow. Now, that hasn't proved this right or wrong. If it's right, this is a 1, 2 or 3 and so is that. If it's wrong, they could be any numbers. 
Uh, this is a useless row. 26 from up to 6 arrows. I don't know. I mean, it won't be all 6. Because although you can add up 6 digits to make 26, some of them would be very little digits that couldn't actually generate 2 cell arrows, I reckon. Ah, right. Okay, something I've had a thought about and not mentioned, and that's very rude of me because the whole point is to let you know what I'm thinking, is that there, there are three boxes here that are entirely populated by three straight arrows. Now, I know that there are fake arrows in each of those boxes. I don't know how many. Could be one, could be two, might even be three. But I know that there are some. And that is because that number 45 that I shared with you earlier is an odd number. There's a knowledge bomb. Uh, but for any, any box in which arrows and circles entirely occupy the box and are confined within it, you would have to be summing to an even number because the total of that cell is the same as the total of those two. So the total of that combined is even, because that adds up to 2x. And the same is true for that and that. And if all three were even sums, you'd get an even sum in total. And that cannot be. Now, I've gone waffling on about that. That was kind of the reason I didn't mention it, was because it, it didn't seem all that helpful. But I'm now looking at row 1. Oh, bother. I thought I was going to be able to conclude that one of these was genuine, and they can barely be genuine. One of these, at least, is fake. <clears throat> but <coughs> two of them could be a 9 and an 8 and use up the 17. That's very irritating. Right, I'm really not getting very far in this puzzle yet. I need, I need to come up with something cleverer. What have we got going on? Those two. It could be just one of them. Well, no, this same... Okay, where I was thinking I was being clever in that row, I can be that clever in this column. This can't be <coughs> fake, this arrow, because... That would leave the whole burden of 9 on a genuine arrow to be here. That would require 9 here, but this is a genuine arrow, so it can't be 9 plus x. So that one can't be fake. This is a genuine arrow as well. So now we've got... Is it a 9? Could be. I just don't know. There's not, not every row and column is clued, of course. Ah, okay, here's an idea. Let's compare, let's compare the totals of column one and column nine, which are two seventeens equals 34, with the totals of rows 1, 7, 8, and 9. Okay, remember that in column 1 and 9, these 17s are adding up the correct arrow circles. So in the rows, we will also be adding up the correct arrow circles. And what's the difference? 13, 22, 30, 47 in the rows. So, we have to come to at least 13 more. Oh, bother. As you are pointing out so correctly, that 13 more... Ah! Oh, I want to know what that is, because then I can eliminate these. Then there's a whole perimeter sum. I don't know. Sorry, the problem is that this circle might, well, does contribute to the 13-row 
arrows and the circle total. This does contribute to the 17 total. And this, though, contributes to the 19 total, but I don't know how much it contributes. I wonder if this is a sort of holistic play. Eight seventeenth. Ah, right. I've got something now. I've got something now. Okay, this is going to be. F yes, this is important. Oh, it doesn't work. Yes, it does. Does it? I don't know. Okay, what I'm thinking about, and you can tell me if this works. I haven't worked it out yet. Those circles, the genuine circles, there add up to thirty-four. That's what the column totals are telling us. What I want to prove is that one of these is genuine. If they weren't genuine, then these would supply all the total of 34. And in fact, that would have to be done by a 9-8 on one side and a 9-8 on the other, because these boxes, like box 2, must contain a bogus arrow. And that can't be, that can't be. Although you could have an eight, nine on one side fulfilling those clues. On the other side, you couldn't then put either eight or nine. Yeah, there is no row that could share an eight and a nine circle. Therefore, we are not, one of these columns might just use two circles, but one of them must use three. What I have proved by doing this is that these circles on their own cannot supply the full 17s because you can only use two of them in either instance and given the totals in the rows you couldn't put two eights and two nines in these circles because you will break one of the row totals. Therefore one of these at least and I will prove that it's only one has got a genuine total in it. And I don't know which one, so I'm going to give them green and red stripes. However, the knowledge that one of them is genuine is really, really, really interesting. And I will tell you for why. And that is because the shape of these arrows means that the minimum total is nine. You could put a one, two, three there. That's the minimum three digits in the column. And a one, two there. That's going to add up to nine. This arrow is exactly the same shape mirrored. So one of these cells contains a genuine nine. And now we know that these two arrows are bogus because if two of them were correct, the circles would add up to eight. So imagine these two were correct because one of these circles is right and one is wrong. I know one is, sorry, I know why one is wrong because if they were both right, they would both be nines and that would break the total already. That would add up to 18, never mind what that is. So anyway, one of them is right and one of them is wrong. That's nine contributed to the 17 total. These circles have to contribute eight. It cannot be done by two circles because then their arrows would have to add up to eight and that's four different cells, which always add up to at least 10. So only one of these circles can contribute to the total. It contributes eight to the total. There's our first digit in the grid. These arrow circles are bogus. Bogus amogus. And those arrows, oh, okay. When I decided on red as the color, it was because I wasn't planning to color the whole arrow. Okay, let's do it just the bogus circles and the full green um, things, the full green arrows. That's what I'll do for now. So we've got an eight here. So these other circles add up to 11. Ah, and we know that one of these is giving nine and the other is giving us zero towards these 34 totals. So these are contributing 25 to the totals for their rows, which add up to 30. 30 minus 25 must be the total of this arrow, which is a 5. And now we're in business. Right, this pair is either 1, 7 or 2, 6. 
to add up to 8 without using 5. This pair is either 1, 4 or 2, 3. 9 in the column is somewhere there. So this cell can't be a 9. This can't be a 9. That means this can't be a 6. Because those two do add up to 15. And very importantly, it means this circle is green. Because that genuine arrow in row 3 can't take the full 9 total. So this is a 1, 2 or 3 and it's green. This is a genuine arrow, so this is a 1, 2 or 3. This is a genuine arrow. We've got a 9 total for the column, so that's 6, 7 or 8. And I feel like we've kind of made a breakthrough now. Um, right, we've got another 8 in arrows in row 9. And we worked out earlier that if the 4 digits on the circles from 2 arrows that add up to 8 were to see each other, then it's impossible because they have to add up to at least 10. So one of these is an 8 um, to make up the total and the other is bogus so one's green and one's red. Um, mm, don't know about the other rows. One of them is an 8 though which either has a 2, 6 or a 1, 7 on its genuine arrow. Oh, of course, sorry, we've got 8 and 5 contributing 13 to the 19 total in the middle column, so that baby is a 6. This can't be a 3, because it would clash with a 3 here. This is now 4 or 5. This contributes to a total of 6, 7 or 8 by being 1, 2, 3 or 4. Now, it can't be 4, because that would be 8 equals 4 plus 4, which is silly, so that's one, two, or three. Um, now, I've got 26 total in this row. Oh, it's the same here. One of these is an eight, of course. This is exactly the same deal. Oh, and it works with nines as well. Yes, okay, what I'm sorry, what I'm seeing is that I can't make both of these circles genuine because then these arrows would add up to 8 and they've got to be more than that. So one of these is genuine and one is bogus and the genuine one is an 8 and that is giving us an X-wing on 8s because these are going to account for all the 8s in columns 1 and 9, rows 7 and 9 so we're going to end up with an 8 in one of those two cells in row 8. Now, it's the same here, because these four cells can't add up to 9, then both of these circles aren't contributing to 9. So again, one is green and one is red. One is a 9, and basically these 17 columns are made up by a 9 here and an 8 in one of these, and then over here a 9 and an 8 in the other one, or the other way around, 9 here and 8 in one of these. So these 9s are forming a sort of huge X-wing on the puzzle as well. Well, which is relatively useful. It puts a 9 in one of these cells. Um, okay, I was going to say and in one of those, but I don't know anything about that. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. This can't be a 6 in this box, obviously. So now that is 7 or 8. This is not 9. It doesn't have a 9 on its arrow. In fact, we've got a 7-8 pair there. And now 9 does go in one of those cells because of the 9 X-wing across the puzzle. Um, it's a strange old puzzle, this, isn't it? It's so symmetrical. How is this? The symmetry is broken up by these arrows, I think. No, by this arrow only. Otherwise it would be mirror symmetric. Oh, of course, the, the, the column totals do it too. But um, In terms of the arrows, it's mirror symmetric apart from that one. Oh, that is one or two. So that's not three now. That's one or two as well.
Now, what else have I learned? I have to try and ignore the bogus arrows, which I know are those two. Ah, oh, this can't be the, the genuine nine because of that. We can't put one, two, three there or we couldn't fill that cell. So this is Mr. Bogus nine. This is a genuine nine. This is a bogus nine. And this is a genuine nine, which is the most important one because we get to put a nine in there a one, two, three in those cells, a one, two pair here. That's completing a one, two pair in the row, which is no use. Let's get rid of, oh, I thought I had uh, done the markings. I haven't, that's a genuine nine. This pair is not eight, one, that's all I know. Ooh, I can place nine in column seven, there it is. One of these is a nine. Don't worry about the arrows, they're bogus. Um, now, what's going on in the middle? Oh, one, two pair there, yes. So this seven or eight can't have a one or a two on it. It is three and either four or five, making seven or eight. Definitely includes a three. Um, I'm looking at this arrow again just to see if I've failed to understand something about it. Ah, this number goes here. Right, this can't be a six for that reason. Because if this was a six, the, this digit would be a shared element between this arrow adding up to six and that arrow adding up to six. And that would mean these two would have to be the same. But they can't be the same because that would mean these two were the same since that is the same as that, which is really clever. This can't be a six, and now that gives us a seven, eight pair. What does that mean? It means these digits all add up to 15. Um... Let's just work through the possibilities. This is either 615 or 624. If it was 615, you've got a 1 here on that arrow. 1, 5, 2 or 3 equals 7 or 8. So that's likely to be right. If it was 624, you've got a 2 here, 4 here. It's got to be a 3 here and 7 here. I don't think this can be 1. No, look, the difference between... The maximum there and the minimum there is more than one. That is two or three. I haven't used this stuff enough, have I? One, two, three there, one, two there. There's a three in one of these cells now. So the three in column one is going to be somewhere here on a bogus arrowhead. Um, the one and two are there and there. They're going to be in these cells. But they could be on genuine ones. Right, let's have a look at this 26 row. We've got 15 there. We're going to need to add another 11, so at least two more genuine circles. This cannot be genuine, can it? I don't think this can be genuine because we've used up in the box. Oh no, well, more simply, one, two, three have been used in the column. So the only way to fill those would be with a four, five on a genuine arrow here. And you can't do that because then these four cells all contain three, four, and five, and that's impossible. So this is not a genuine arrow. This is a bogus one. Uh, can I do the same over here? I don't think I can, because I haven't got as much information about 1s, 2s and 3s this side of the puzzle. I do know that that is a 1, 2 pair. I want to know more about this cell. Is this a 2? It would have to be 7, 2, 5, 1, 1, 6. Oh, Oh look, oh, good grief, I've got a six there. This is a one-seven pair. 
That's a 2-3 pair as a result. 5, 2, 3, 6, 1, 7, 8. This is a 4, 9 pair. Is this helpful? No? Why not? It just isn't. Okay. If that, these two add up to 9. So it's either a 7, 2 pair and that's a 1. Or it's an 8, 1 pair and that's a 7. Either way, 1 is being used in those cells and is not being used here. Doesn't quite apply with a 2. Six, four, nine. That one, two pair, is that another one, two pair? It would be very helpful if it was. No, don't think so. I mean, it might be, but oh, I don't know. It would put. It would put one of one or two on these cells. What can these be? These can't be. Ah, these cannot be nine, four, six or seven, eight. They see both of those. So these digits are from one, two, three and five. I think that's going to make this genuine because the maximum you could add up to in genuine cells in this row at this point is 7 and 8 is 15, plus 5 and 3 is 23. That is genuine. This is a genuine arrow. And it's got a 9 on it. Well, it can't have it on the arrow part, so it's got to have it in the circle. And that fixes 4, 9 in the central box. This is very clever, by the way. I do like this puzzle. Um, now, come on, what's this made up of then? Ah, we've got a 1-2 pair in that row. So this is 3, 4, 5, 7 or 8. This is therefore 6, 5, 4, 1 or 2. Now, if this was a 2, if this was 7, 2, 5. That could be 9, 3, 6 or 9, 1, 8. Oh, 9 is a huge total in this, in this row. I hadn't thought about the, the sum again. They add up to 24 now. Wow, only one of these is genuine and it's a two. Oh, that is brilliant. It can be a two. Normally a two cell arrow can't be, but here you could put one, one there or one, one there. So one of these is genuine and is a two. Now that cell is not a two. That's a one. That's a one. And now we know this is not the genuine two because it would need ones in those cells and they can't be there. So this is the genuine two. As soon as we've posited it and used it, we've found it. These are genuine ones. I'm going to make them green as well. Although I should bear in mind this one doesn't have to be green for this arrow. Oh, just lost the light. That's not good. Um... Right, quick edit there to fix the light. Sorry about that. Um, but I think we're okay now. Um, slightly different angle on it. Now, unusual technical hitch. Um, yes, I was just saying that this one is part of a red arrow there, a failed arrow, a bogus arrow. But nonetheless, it's part of a genuine arrow here. Um, anyway, that one is fixing one in row five and then we can do one in row six this is the bogus thing it's a three or a five i can color it red because we don't need it in this row how are we doing for ones oh we can get another one in box nine. Oh, they're done in box two i hadn't seen that one in box one that's all the ones i think there they are um, let's keep going then. We've got, what have we got? Don't know. Um, not sure what we've got. We've got this seven, eight pair, one, two, three, nine. Those are from four, five, six. Oh, okay. So two and nine. They're a sort of X-wing. They're in these positions. 
Um, ah, the genuine eight is not going to have a nine on its arrow. It's going to have a two. So one of these two is going to be a six. It's going to be an eight, six, two arrow, either there or there. Now on this side of the grid, if it was an eight here, it could be eight, three, five, or eight, six, two. This one would now have to be eight, one, seven. One, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to use that yet. Okay, let's just do Sudoku though. There seems to be quite a bit of Sudoku to do. These are from 3, 5, and 6. No, they're not, because 3 is on that arrow. So those that's a 5, 6 pair. This becomes a 3, 4 pair. Now we get the circles. 7 there, 8 there. Oh, look, we've had 6 and 1. The interruption distracted me from spotting that. This seems to work. That fixes 4 and 3. This has become an 8. Oh, we are firing now. Um, that's a 5, 6 pair. This is a 4, 7 pair, which will go in. Um, this is an 8 on the bogus arrow. Don't worry about that. Now, this arrow is not 1, 8, 5, 4, or 3, 6. It's 7, 2. This is a 4, 6 pair on this bogus arrow. Right, that's all been very good. Lots of stuff unwinding. There's probably more to do as well. Three in this box must be here. Oh, that's very obvious. That's a five, seven pair to complete it. We can't resolve those. Um, oh, there's not much else pointing down to the bottom though. Come on, keep focusing. Keep seeing things that are there to be seen. Eight in column eight, that sort of thing. Hmm. So it's going to be about these arrows and which ones are genuine. Oh, here's a thought. Where does five go in the box? Actually, no, that's not a thought because it's got those positions. I mean, it is a thought, it's just not a very good thought. Two and nine, okay, so I'm going to have to keep focusing on these arrows. Right, whichever one is right in box seven is an 862 arrow. That's worth something. If that was here, it's 86213, then that would have to be nine. This would be 457. And that's impossible. Right, is that impossible? If this was 862... Yeah, that seems to be impossible. 862 is one of these two arrows, it's a genuine one. If it was here, we must go 862139. Then this group of cells, you can call it an arrow, but it's not really because it's bogus, is 457. But the genuine 8 has to go there, and now we can't use 7 there because it's in this 457 group. So that is not 862. The 862 is down at the bottom of box 7. That's the genuine 8. Right, these two are genuine. Uh, these two are bogus. Uh, somehow I can't highlight them. There we go. These are genuine arrows. This one can't have a 1 on it. It's either 8, 3, 5, and it's not that, because those cells say you can't put a 3 or a 5 in there. This is another 8, 6, 2. We've got roping. This must be an 8, 6 pair. In fact, we can fill them in. I've only just seen that we could have put in the 8 a while ago. Oh, yeah, we are flying now. 3 has to be here. 1 and 3 must rope as well. 3 is there. Two six eight nine one three. This is five. That's a four seven pair. We'll probably be able to figure that out from the roping. This has become a nine. That's a five. And there's the four seven pair again. Maybe we can't figure that out at the moment. This is four or seven. 
Six there has sorted out five and six. We've got two, five, seven up here. I can put in the seven on the bogus arrow. We can put in six and four and three. The three sorts out two, three. That sorts out two, five. What have we got in this row? Six and nine, in they go. We can do six and five in the top row, three and two, and then five and four. And I can't do those yet, but I'm sure we can in a moment. I think we're very near a finish here. Oh, this is a genuine arrow that I'd completely overlooked and forgotten. Ah, that's how we do the four sevens. And that is gonna finish the puzzle instantly, basically. Five, seven, five, four, and we come down to the bottom, do nine, and a four here finishes it. This must be right. There we go. Uh, do ignore the time after the interruption. I'm not really sure what the time solving the puzzle was, but there we go. That is Something's Very Wrong by Ransk, and it is a an excellent puzzle. I really like that idea and how it played out there. It's not as chaotic as a real Rogan puzzle at all, but it's really interesting. And, well, many thanks to Ranks. Thanks to you for spending your time with us. We really appreciate that and your company. And uh, hope to see lots more of you soon. Thanks for watching on the channel and bye for now.